it took me a while to process how to how to write a song about it. It was very, very hard. And it was, all I know I wanted to be as true to the emotion that I think he was trying to convey to me. I was at a time in music where <clears throat> I really didn't feel that connected to my art and people necessarily. Um, so I just finished a YouTube series uh, and I kind of felt like there's more to what I was doing than just filming covers and releasing every Friday. Um, so what I did is I asked my listeners at the time just to send me a letter. Uh, I kind of left it anonymous so they can just tell me uh, anything. I want freedom of speech or like the freedom to express yourself to be like the compass. And uh, out of that I got like, I've got six, um, seven letters which then I transformed into songs. So there was a cluster of them that came and I think that the first one that I read uh, was uh, not even really a full story or anything. Uh, um, so the person who was writing explained to me that they had a, an older brother and at the age of, I think he was 16, uh, he committed suicide. So the, the younger brother was explaining to me that he's got all these photos of his brother, but he was too young to be able to remember his brother. So it created a very uh, a unique kind of relationship between two brothers. They both were alive at the same time. They both shared moments together, but neither of them can say that they shared the same moments. And it, it created a, a, I mean, it was very, very, very sad to read. And there's a bit that they, they put in and said, I'm, I'm, I'm actually crying into my keyboard as I'm writing this. And that's uh, uh, an image that really stuck with me. All I know, I wanted to be as true to the emotion that I think he was trying to convey to me. So that's what I, I, I kept, I kept picking up that feeling when it came to this particular song. A lot of the, the ways I'm saying certain things is in a way rewrites of what I was given. Um, I just kind of would fill in the gaps of to be able to make it flow in a musical form just so that there can be a song. Um, but I would try to stay close to the way that they would talk. Um, just as uh, the way of completing the whole process. I'm gonna send out the, the songs to them because uh, I don't know to this day if they've listened to them. That's not something I can uh, expect. You know, maybe they left too much hurt with me and they don't want to listen to it. You know, that's something which I've thought about sometimes. Um, but there is one person who, uh, it's a very unique story that she wrote in. I can say she because she's okay with me sharing her story. Um, at the end of her letter, she explained to me that music saved her. And in particular, a song by Paramore called um, uh, My Last Hope, I think. Yeah, um, they said that she found herself in that. She found strength in that. She found um, a way to look forward in that. So um, she kind of wanted me to write a song that would give people that that song gave her something to propel them into a, a, a more positive outlook, I think. I just always thought it was really brave to, to, to share that story and then just say, but it, to then push it on and say, can you write something that's going to propel some, some happiness? I mean, I, that, that, I remember just reading that and going, this is going to take some effort 
because I normally write downbeat songs, I normally write really reflective songs and um, I was like, well it's not about that, <laughs> it's about really highlighting this person's journey. Um, but I think the, the, the thing that kind of makes me really happy about uh, the, the, the song that's obviously out, out there to try and change things um, is that it's done, it's, a lot of other people have taken it under their wing as well. It's playing in all these places around the world, which I just think is incredible because the idea was to get it to as many um, ears as possible to promote this really positive message um, about you know, things can be quite gloom and, and, and horrible. But as this person found my last hope, there, there can be something and hopefully there is for someone. I, th I don't know, there's a time in the future where I hope I can maybe do something in a similar ilk. I'm not sure if it'll be the same exact project, but it was nice to just focus on something that was just a born out of something that was just honest and felt really, really right. People need time to find the, the songs and people need time to understand what the, what the project is. So it might not be that I'm not ready it's more to do with the people who are possibly part of the next part of the journey. Need to understand the journey. I need to see how it works for them and if it's, if it's right. So I think that it's not, if I had letters tomorrow, I would, I would just keep going because <laughs> I can't not write songs. And, but I think for it to be the right way and maybe the, in the spirit of how it started, maybe that's, Jenny that will come later.